Welcome back and in this session we're going to look at the line effect. So let's drag our triangle in and we'll just make this a little bit bigger. And as you can see in the bottom right corner I've got a projector connected so you can see this in real time. Now remember we connect our projector by connecting it to our computer and just clicking the yellow projector icon and connecting it through there. Okay so I'm just going to add a square in this window here. Just let me make this a little bit bigger for you so you can see it on our screen. Wonderful. There we go. And I'll just, I'll do this quiet rough just so, um, you know, we can see it doesn't have to be perfect. It, one of the things to think about as well is depending on your uh, projector angle, you really want your icons to look like they're square and they might not look, square on your um, interface. So if you look at the square quad and then look at that in the projector, it looks square on the projector, but not necessarily in the interface. Okay, so I'm just switching between them. So they're both in group one. Let's go over to our line effect and we'll have a look at what that actually does. Okay, so here's our line and I'm just gonna click that. And then I need to uh, turn my border effect off. But I'm just gonna set the parameter there we go i'm just going to set the parameters up here you'll notice that my border is still on but that doesn't detract too much from what we're trying to achieve here so with the line effect you can um, adjust the speed you can adjust the path you can um, change the phase offset and so on and so forth you can also have different type of line effects of so the boomerang or the line or the yo-yo for example so that guys is very simply how you use the line effect. You can also change the color, as you can see here by just clicking the color and then changing that. Now, if I change the color from fixed to um, treble or bass, for example, and I had some music connected, that could then change based on the beat and the rhythm of the music that I'm playing into the software.